She was uh, expressing how her work is based in global movement and the fluid identities. And if you think about it, this is also kind of, for me, my work somehow. I work uh, bridging cultures. She's Korean originally. And people say, are you Chinese? Are you from Japan? And she, she said that, I want to reflect that. So she kind of mixed. If you see, you see different cultures reflected. This multicultural world that she does somehow reflect what I have done to uh, when I came to the United States. When I came, I kind of start to identify how to belong, what to do in order to connect and integrate. And to integrate, this is what I can see. So many things, she integrated the pieces from several cultures. And in my work, uh, I have been developing uh, either grassroots organizations that are trying to integrate community that are immigrants. In fact, today I have some of my friends here from different nationalities, and I will say Germany, Mexico, Spain, Russia, and probably the other people that I don't know, obviously. And bridging cultures to me, it is represented somehow in each of these materials. The materials is also what the cultures are. We are very different. We all bring something to the table very different. And I think that's how she play with it. It's a game somehow. It's a, she's kind of uh, letting us to think about it. Yes, you, you recognize the icon, the Starbucks icon. And that to me also, yes, it's American, but in my in in my country, for example, in my original country from in Colombia, coffee it has a it's it's a universal. Yes, maybe the the Starbucks is a very American, but it's a moment of conversation, talking and getting to know each other. And at the end, our feelings and our goals are the same. Just depend. You know, we move to different places. We have different feelings that we left behind. And I think also that drama and that passion and those feelings come across in this, in this uh, work from Jihad. Something that I, I am doing in my work is Bridges to Success. It's called Bridges to Success. And Bridges to Success is defining the pathways for immigrants, independently of the level that they come. So when, when you see this, I think it's the evolution. It's a mix of everyone, all of us, integrating. Because it's a double, double way, if you think about it. The receiving community and the arriving community. It's a double way, and to me, this is reflected in Jiha's work. She was talking about how she also mixed in her work not just the icons and the, the textures, but also she called generations, because some people can be more into certain colors or certain symbols. And I think maybe not everybody understand the Asian, Asian symbol that you have here, but it is kind of letting you think about it, letting you think about what is happening next. So I, I, in my work, one of the things that I'm doing is culture in, in different aspects. For example, we do events in town, and part of those events we are going to have, in fact, on Sunday, Culture Fest. Culture Fest is an opportunity for local people, and I'm th th thinking not just immigrant community, to get together and talk about what it is that we are bringing here. So in Culture Fest, you are going to see these colors. You are going to see these textures. You are going to see so many of the things that are happening right now. How? Because we are going to have 57 countries represented. And I'm not talking just the Hispanic countries, which is 21, but it's part of that. But also, we have the Japanese group, Chinese group, French group. So you're going to see so many of these textures, calligraphy, Asian symbols, that are going to make more sense. That's what I choose to speak. In my work, what I do, I do integrate community from different cultures. For example, uh, my, my idea is that we have to integrate from literacy, art, and culture. You cannot do one without the other. And when you bring 
culture and you can share it with so many things that come with it. Level of education, nationality, feelings, emotions, sacrifices, and that right there is something that I think I see reflected in this work. Look at the materials. It can talk about maybe immigration, region cultures. It can be that broken system that nobody can fix. It may be that, that could be. It can be all the opinions in the legislation and in the community about this provocative like subject. Can be that reflected? To me, it was that was what I was thinking. Every time and I saw one thing, it can be a reflection of those philanthropists that are trying to get this moving forward and more accepting, but also the ones that are with the fear of accepting the immigrants in the community. So it's a broken bridge to me. This bridge is what I live with. This is my work. Working with immigrants, it can bring all these things. It can bring adversity sometimes, but it can be embraced sometimes. So recently I had a, a very interesting experience in, in which I received a phone call. It's what you will call a hate crime, okay? And I wasn't sure that I was going to bring it up tonight, but I am, because I'm talking about this broken system. I think what happened when people did, um, see other people working in, in situations or issues that are involving immigrants, it's a scary. It's a scary because sometimes you don't know what you don't know. You are afraid about something. Uh, in the same way that the arriving community is afraid. It's afraid. So is that bridge that we need to cross? Is that bridge that I'm trying to build that with pain, emotions, laughter, cultural arts? So there is two big events that I'm doing. One is Culture Fest. Last year we have more than 10,000 people. Um, I'm saying that there is an interest on, on, on getting to know. It's okay not to know, but it's a good opportunity to get connected with another culture without leaving the city. We have a program that is called the Cultural Ambassadors, a network, which some of them are here present, and it's a big net network that is growing more and more in the city. It's people from different nationalities that basically have a grade of influence in the community and can tell you about it. So, the steps that we are taking in this bridge. I think each of these steps is what we are doing when we develop these workshops about global mindset, about diversity, about how to do a cross how to do business with another people, how to talk to another people, cross-cultural exercises that we do to prepare the people to get to know the unknown, the foreigner, the newcomer.